Hey guys, welcome to a new series I'm starting on my channel. It's called Look Back. And basically, after an entire year that I released the CD, I'm going to be looking back on it and talking about how I've evolved since then and what are my thoughts about the CD then. The very first episode of this series is going to be Rebirth, my very first debut mixtape. It's my biggest release so far that I've done. And when I released it back last year, uh, on July 12th, exactly one year ago, I was very proud of it, and I still am proud of it because it took a lot of time to do, and the production turned out to be decent. But now, since I've done music industry arts, and I've learned so much, and I've grown so much, and all these new mixing techniques, and mastering, and audio engineering, all these audio engineering tips that I've learned, they've really made me improve my music. And so I look back at this CD and I'm like, oh my God, I made so many mistakes. This is, this is not as good as I thought it was when I, re when I once released it. I did a lot on this CD. I did all the producing, all the mixing, all the engineering. I did the guitars, the vocals, the drums, the bass, the piano, and the synth. And then I had a bunch of other people who came on to be a featured vocalist. And uh, I'm really proud of this release because of the number of tracks I've done and because of how many people I got to in involved in this. And this CD, it did a lot for me. It got a lot of views on YouTube. It got me hired for a bunch of projects. And it really put my foot in the door in terms of becoming a rap artist. The day I released that CD on Reverb Nation, I became the number one local artist. And that was really cool. I, uh, that blew me away. I was so excited about that. And um, I, used, I also got interviewed on the radio. And it was really, really cool. I remember the very first song of that CD that, that I put out was called This Song Is the truth and I had a lot of personal stuff that happened to me and I just kind of looked at all of it and I just kind of just put it all out there and I put out that song and a lot of people appreciated that and I put out a music video for it and I got a bunch of people involved in it holding lyric signs and it turned out to be a really cool message the song was decent I don't think it was a uh, that amazing anymore but it was the beginning i just can't believe that uh, it's already been a year since i've released rebirth and now i look at the music i'm doing now and rebirth is just i just find it to be completely different it's just it, it blows me away how much i've grown in just one year because of my studies the other thing when i look back at rebirth i look back at all the people who uh, got to work out with me on this song i had a uh, jesus that we did release the crew with i had stuff that i do lunatic rappers with and then i had k tam who's going to be a, a vocalist on a bunch of other tracks Agristar uh, came by and he did a, a, a vocals for a song and he even did a sketch with me. I had my friend Ben, which I do indecisive people talk, come in and do uh, some poetry on the album. My friend Alexandra came by and uh, she sang a chorus. My friend Azo uh, rapped a verse. And then I had uh, Draw Alex, which is uh, uh, the guy who made the artwork for it, a good friend of mine. You know, a lot of people worked on this CD with me and I'm so happy that I got so many people involved. I look back, I listen to it now and it's crazy that uh, it's already been a year since then. Another thing I noticed when I listened the CD is that there was a lot of personal songs. Either the songs were very personal or they were just stories I've invented in my head. Like when I look back at Grandma's song, obviously that song is about my grandmother and everything I lived with her. I had another song called Lesson Learned and that was about an ex <laughs> and that was a very personal song. A lot of people actually really like that song. A lot of people told me that it basically described how they felt about their ex. So that was cool. And another thing I did with this CD that was really, really fun. When I started writing the CD, Jason and Christophe, who is now known as ACR for Lunatic Rappers, were coming in and out of my studio a lot just to listen to the songs and everything. When Jason started developing a, a want, a need to like do music together, like to create an EP together and that's how we released the Cruel started out and then with uh, Christophe I mean the guy just has such a good flow and we had just such good chemistry when working together and I told him to start a rap project together and he was totally down for it and we featured uh, one song from each of those projects on the CD so for Lunatic Rappers we featured Tom which is um a very uh, that's a story that's not a personal song that's a story song it's a story i wrote it was very very bizarre this is like some 18 and up kind of stuff that i wrote in that song and i showed it to my teachers and he was like this is just wow and we're just blown away that i would even write about that but it made it sound very unique and one thing i learned is that music music is whatever you want it to be you can write about whatever you want and that song is uh, it's good to make it unique sometimes it's fun for other people and the other song face the truth that that song came around really early in the production of rebirth and at first it was going to be featuring jesus i even said at the beginning of the song this song is for all the kids out there who get bullied and it's featuring jesus and jesus is in the majority of the song there's less of my vocals in that song than jesus and that's the song that i actually sent to music industry arts and got me accepted so i'll forever be grateful for to 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 Jay for that because without him that song would have never been created and who knows maybe I, did, I wouldn't have gone into music industry arts and I wouldn't be where I am now you know and at the time where I had to pick a song to send it out to music industry arts that was my best song 
that was the best song I had. So I just had to put it out there. And so I'm happy the way that came out. And I mean, when I look at other songs like Strangle, that's another really personal one. I look at Old Friend, another very personal song about someone I used to be friends with. University was not as personal, but it's a little bit personal. It's about um, how I was going through university and finally I decided to switch my studies to music because university, when what I was studying, was not the right thing for me. A 15-year-old mess, <laughs> that one is... Uh, definitely a story that one I had a really fun time with it because I really just wrote a story and I I created the characters and the story turned out the way it turned out and a lot of people liked that what else Bloom Bloom was really cool to do too that was like one of the very first songs I wrote I think it was this song is the truth and then Bloom was the one right after and Bloom was really fun because it was just completely different you know the chorus was a, a big choir pad I recorded myself singing like five times and I mean, the drums were, were, were different. It just turned out to be completely different. Another song I'm really happy I did, Mistake. Mistake was the first song that uh, Christophe and I did together. And I was really, really impressed with Christophe. The very first time I ever recorded him for vocals, right? He goes and he uh, he does his freestyle in one one take. And I'm like, what? Whoa, okay. Dude, I don't think it was really good. I, we're going we're gonna to play that back. I play it back and I just... He showed me what rapping was in a sense because he he was just going, uh, he had a flow, you know, and I was very locked to the beat in my raps. I have improved since then. <laughs> Nearly not as, not as good as Christophe for sure, though. He's just, the kid just has a talent for that. When he recorded his rap, I was just blown away. He had so much flow and he was just free and it was just so amazing what he did. I just could not believe it. And I'm like, this guy is going to be on my song. My song is going to be amazing because this guy is on it. It, it just it, it blows me away that I got to do this uh, CD. I'm just really happy that I got to do this CD, and I'm, I'm really happy that people listen to it. Sometimes I get stopped in the streets, and uh, people are like, oh, I listen to your music, I really enjoy it, blah, 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 blah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And that all stemmed from this CD, from this mixtape that I started out. This is the very first hip-hop I've ever made, and people complimented me because of that hip-hop. And so I'm really happy about that. And, you know, you all, we all start somewhere. And like the very first song you're going to write is not going to be your best song, okay? That's what I think because you're always going to improve as you grow. And that's basically what's been happening with me. Like, Release the Cruel was a little bit better than Rebirth in my mind. And then Lunatic Rappers were a little bit better than uh, Rebirth. And then the next Lunatic Rappers we're going to do is going to be way better than before. And then it's just, it always improves and improves. And that's how I grow as a YouTuber, as a musician. So I'm just really happy about... Um, this entire CD and the way it came out. So thank you so much for uh, this very first episode of Look Back. Thank you so much for stopping by listening to me talk and have a great day, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. I just broke 2,400 subscribers, which is insane. And please go like me on Facebook. It would be amazing. I would appreciate it so much. Follow me on Twitter. All the good stuff is going to be in the description of this video. So have a great day, guys, and I will see you next time.